Well, hello, everybody. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Week in Review for Module 2, Week 2. Now, I'm shooting this before Module 1 is actually completed yet because we will have a little bit of overlap in a couple of days because, we again, remember, we extended that due date to uh, Tuesday for Module 1. In Module 2, we'll be back to the normal pattern, which is Module officially starts on Monday and officially ends on Sunday. Uh, for this module, you have your uh, normal quiz, which will be on your second group of readings in the pharmacology book. Uh, also here looking at my notes, we are gonna have our learning activity. And uh, I'm gonna go into a little bit more on that learning activity in just a moment. And then we'll have the question of the week. This will be uh, something that we will do for the next seven modules. You'll do your question of the week which will show up in the course news on the first day uh, that the module starts. I might give you a little bit of a preview on Sunday. Um, and really what it is is sort of like a critical thinking question. And again, follow the syllabus. The re there's a word count requirement. You're going to respond back to a couple of your fellow students. Try to add some insights into that response. Something, add something to the conversation. Um, that's meaningful in your responses. So a little bit of critical thinking and a little bit of response back to your fellow students. Okay, and then um, again, going, let me go back to the weekly learning activity. This weekly uh, learning activity for module two will be a little bit different and a little bit the same as your first one that you did. It's the same in that it's uh, kind of reminiscent of workbook activity. It's gonna emphasize the things that you are getting out of the reading. So again, I would recommend that you look at the activity first, then do your reading, because it will you'll kind of be reading for certain answers as you're going through it. So it will help you uh, complete the learning activity. Where it will be different is that it will be uh, computer-based. So you're going to be uh, actually typing in answers or selecting answers again from the as you're going through the reading so uh, keep that in mind it's gonna look uh, a lot like a quiz the way that I've structured it is actually using our quiz generator so but don't be alarmed it's not a quiz it is again a learning activity you'll be able to go in and out of this activity throughout the entire week it's set for seven days so it'll be open for seven days the only thing that you must not do this is kind of the most important thing for this to work is do not select submit so let's say you're working on it and you knock out a few answers on it and then you decide to come back to it in a couple days that's perfectly okay that's the way i hope it works for you and the way i hope i designed it what you want to do if you want to kind of exit out of it and come back to it another day is you'll select save all answers or save all responses you'll you'll click that button but you will not select the submit button only select the submit button when you're done with the entire thing and you'll know when you're done it's it's pretty clear when the end is then you can click submit and then it kind of goes away forever so be careful on that. Don't select submit until the very end. And then also be careful that you, um, when you exit out to save your work that you've been working on for you know, 20, 30 minutes, that um, you do select the save all responses button to save that, the work that you have input on that. So hopefully it, it doesn't cause too much confusion. I have plenty of warnings all throughout the thing on what to do. So uh, please read that. The other thing is, as you're going through it, one of the exercises is a crossword. The crossword itself, the image, is kind of hard to read. So what I did is I made a PDF that you'll see in the module that you can click and download and print. I would recommend that you click and, and print that because the image embedded in the actual activity can be a little small and a little bit difficult to see so i thought i'd give you an access to a nice big you know you can see the crossword see how it's laid out count all the boxes you can see the helpers there's little uh help words in there little uh, letters to give you a clue on 
on what you're looking for. So do uh, print that out if you're having a difficulty maybe seeing the fine details on the image that's actually embedded in the learning activity. Um, and then the questions for the crossword are in the learning activity. They're not on the PDF. You can print those out if you wish from the learning activity if you like. Totally up to you. Okay, so that's uh, that's pretty much it for uh, week two. I would highly encourage you to keep working. Start working on that unit paper. Please don't wait until next week uh, when we're winding up pharmacology to do this paper. Um, just save yourself some grief. Even if you did a little bit of research and got your sources all lined up, um, again, I encourage you to work early on it so you don't have to be stressed out at the last minute trying to do a, a three-page paper with a cover with the title page and references. Um, please make sure that you're using in-text citations. Um, for those of you that had me in the previous class, there were some of you that missed that. I didn't take a, a lot of points off that would significantly impact anybody's grade, but um, there were a few, a few of you that uh, did not do the in-text citations. Uh, so please make sure that you do that. I will be taking off uh, for it this time around. So uh, other than that, uh, that pretty much concludes the week in review. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment or contact me and I will see you.